Chris, uh, Michael was just saying that this is the weirdest series he's ever seen in terms of the ebbs and flows back and forth. Like, do you have any idea on why it's been so wild swinging kind of in between each? I don't know. I've, I've noticed in the playoffs over the last four or five years, there's been a lot of like kind of larger swings between game to game. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just some of the volatility of the game in general these days. Uh, you know, familiarity plays certainly a role. Um, you know, this is like the 20th time we've played each other in the last two games, two years, I believe. So, um, you know, sometimes you just kind of um, play in a really good vein. You get super comfortable. Um, but, yeah, no, I can't explain it either. But Jaden shot, shot well from three in game yeah. six. But how much of his impact is off the dribble and kind of creating a little bit like he did and getting going offensively that way as well. Yeah, you know, when, when the ball moves for us, uh, we set it all season and he's able to attack closeouts and make the next play and get to the rim and finish well, get to his paint pull up, you know, then uh, we know our, our offense is working at a high level. But, you know, he it was good. We benefited from great some great offense, you know, created a lot of times by uh, Ant and Cat and Mike um, where he was able to you know, finish the deal. Um, a lot of your perimeter defense is set around the Jaden matchup oftentimes. Uh, is the fact that he's been guarding Porter, has done a good job, some of that you have the luxury of having Ant be a little bit more consistent on that end of the floor right now? On the defensive end of the floor? Um, I, I'm not sure exactly what you mean by consistent, but you know we have multiple guys we can put on different guys. We're lucky that way, so... I guess, how did you arrive at the, the matchup of Jaden on MPJ rather than oh. on Murray? And, and is Ant's enhanced defense in the yeah, playoffs I mean, part of that? Yeah, we, you know, we, wanted, uh, we wanted as much length on Porter Jr. I mean, he's, he's uh, 6'10", has a high release, doesn't need a lot of time to get it off. Um, you know, Ant's really good pickup, point of attack defender, and navigates a lot of, like, uh, screens without being hit can blow stuff up all by himself um, you know it works well in that two-man game that they run a lot so I kind of felt that was just kind of uh, nor a natural for us to do that Chris I just I, I guess just what's what's the mood like with the team leading up to it good day like today and yeah they're excited week. yeah, yeah they're excited Coach, uh, knowing where you guys were last year and yeah. this year, uh, you know, fighting the NBA champs in the Game 7, do you feel like this season is already a success, uh, no matter what happened tonight? Uh, well, I would say it's another step forward. We're trying to build something here, you know. Um, it's better to evaluate those things, you know, when, when it's all said and done. Um, but we've had a great season. Um, you know, these guys have done a great job of coming together, leaning on an identity, playing for each other, and all that kind of stuff. So, But we don't feel like our work's done, so we're, we're excited tonight to get a win. Coach, is there anything negative about winning by 45 points in the last game? Um, I don't think so, not really. I'll take another 45-point win, so. Yeah. Uh, Coach, what have you most, been most pleased with with Cad and the stretches that you guys collectively have played well? Yeah, um, you know, I thought his, his defense one-on-one -on -one has been great. Um, I thought in game six he had one of his best performances of the playoffs, you know, even though it was not uh, a big numbers game. He just made the right play over and over and over again, stayed composed, rebounded well, um, you know, did everything that we needed him to do, uh, drew a lot of attention too. So thanks, guys.